Welcome to Programming Times. In today's video, we will see how to use the FMovie's WordPress theme and install it without any errors. This is a beginner's guide. To use the FMovie's theme, you will first need the latest version of WordPress. For using WordPress, you will need a domain or a subdomain. I am going to use this for demo purposes only, so I am going with a subdomain. Once your domain is created, we will install WordPress. Most control panels have a WordPress toolkit. In my Ezerhost cPanel, I have a WP toolkit, which allows me to install WordPress without any issues. If you want, you can buy Ezerhost via the link in my description box. It's a referral link, so if you want to support me, click and buy through it. Next is to install our FMovies theme. If you don't have, click the link in description to buy from official developer. To use this theme after purchase, go to the folder and find license.php and add your license there. Then you can just update the zip files. Once done, you can install your theme via WordPress admin panel. There are many sites, but I recommend to buy from official store to get timely update and bug fix from original developer. That's why I'm showing his site on video itself. Once the theme is uploaded, the next step is to add the necessary plugins. Since I'm using an older version, I am uploading the theme manually. In the latest version, you can install the theme directly from the plugin menu. Done. We have successfully uploaded the theme and activated the plugin. Our job is 50% complete. The remaining task is to add the movies and series, which we will do in a moment. Since this theme only supports PHP 7.4, attempting to import movies using PHP 8.1 will not work. To resolve this, we need to target our domain to use PHP 7.4 and then proceed with the movie import. Successfully worked. Let's import few movies and we can also use bulk imports.
Next major error is when we press a movie, it redirects to 404 page. After many attempts, I found a wonderful solution for this. Go to WordPress dashboard and find the settings menu in that Choose Permalinks. Once in the page, go to the bottom of the page and press Save Changes without doing any modification. Trust me, it will work. We will make few more tweaks to make this site's our own. Few people mentioned about this image not found error. Actually, site uses scapper links and link that store images preview has lost its images so we don't have access to it. I hope it's not a major issue. The next question people ask is how to use a custom embed link. It's straightforward. Just toggle the button on the edit page to enable the custom embed placeholder. For this video, we will use a YouTube embed link. It doesn't necessarily have to be YouTube. You can use any embed link that shows videos in full screen. Once added, it's time to test the output. Our YouTube embed link works without error. Next, we can make a few more tweaks, such as changing the website logo and editing the footer and headers. Since I am using an older panel, the website looks a little weird, but if you use the latest version, it will look much better. However, we can still make this site look like the latest version, but that will be left for another customization tutorial. People have asked about adding a download link, similar to how AnimeWorld.com shows it. I will try to make a customization video if I succeed in adding the download option menu. I think that's all we can do for basic customization. With this, your site is ready to showcase to the world. Let me know if you face any other issues. If you wish to add new features, you can always contact the respective developer for further assistance. Thanks to tuning in with Programmer Times. Have a nice weekend.